Hey guys, welcome to MVC tutorial from .NET School. Now the reason of me starting this brand new series is basically uh, I have seen many students going through a lot of theory of model view and controller and then not going forward uh, with MVC some uh, somehow. So what I have decided is basically I have not uh, I am not going into deep theory. I will be just directly going on to the practicals and explain you how do you proceed in making MVC applications. This doesn't mean that there won't be any theory. Yes, there will be theory, but uh, those will be important points that you need to remember for learning MVC. So directly, let's jump on to Visual Studio and try to create our first MVC application. So what I will do is basically I will start a new instance of Visual Studio 2019 and I will say uh, create a new project. Okay. Now, once you create a new project, there will be a lot of templates which will be auto populated for you. Now, they have changed the look and feel of Visual Studio 2019 uh, templates. So, don't, don't get confused. There are a lot of templates here. So, what we will be doing is basically, we will be uh, proceeding with MVC 5 applications. Okay. So, let me search that for you. So, here it is ASP.NET web application.NET framework and make sure you choose the C sharp version for it. There will be also a version which, which will have VB application with it. But yes, you need to choose the C sharp version for it. Now, once you create next, you will be asked, uh, you, it will ask you to write a name. So let's give it a name. So I will say MVC class. Okay. And then I will say create. Now, once you uh, click on create, uh, it will ask you to create a new ASP.NET application and it will be asking you that which type of application you need to uh, prepare. Okay. So there is an empty option and the moment you uh, select empty application, that means it won't have any predefined folders, no predefined code, nothing. Okay. And there will be uh, on the on to the right, there, there are three checkboxes which have web forms, MVC and web API. Now, uh, just have a look on these uh, checkboxes. When I have selected empty, this uh, nothing is selected in here. Okay. Now, the moment I se select web forms, so the web form is uh, selected, right? If I uh, say MVC, the MVC is selected. If I say web API, web API is selected. And it is also MVC application because web APIs are basically a uh, MVC application, a form of MVC application that we will be learning in our future videos. Okay. So for now, I will just select the MVC application and you see this, this is uh, selected by default. I will say create. Okay. So my MVC application is created now. So this is the by default page which you get once you create this new application. You just need to uh, close this page and you go on to the solution explorer. Okay. And then this are the, these are the folders or the pre-written code which you have when you create your first application. Okay. And this code is not empty. Nah. There's always some pre-written code for you. Uh, if we would have selected empty application, there's uh, this uh, won't be there. But for you to understand basic things, I just have created the pre-written code application. Okay. So all these folders here we have, we will go th uh, through them one by one. First, let's try to run this application and see. Okay. So the application is coming up and we'll see some uh, pre-written code which is present there okay so this is the default application what we have so here it is uh, application name home about contact and everything is here right so we will go through the folders one by one in the next lecture let's try to understand what is this application okay so let me go to the our application which is running and see how that uh, content is being rendered onto the screen right first of all so uh, you just don't need to uh, don't need to uh, understand a lot of things right now you just need to understand that there is a model there is a controller and then there is a view so everything what we are getting onto the screen is through a view right so that view is basically a index view don't uh, don't try to understand that how do we get the index view and everything i will be explaining you these uh, things in my uh, previous lectures so let's see first the application right so this part, this shaded part, right? The whole part is a jumbo drawn. So you can see this, this view, uh, it has a lot of HTML code in it, right? Now we can also write uh, C sharp code in here, but right now there is only uh, HTML code. So just you need to understand that there is a view which has some HTML code in it and that view is being rendered onto the screen. Now that shaded part, which I told you, that is a uh, jumbotron. Okay, 
so let's try to change a few things here so i will say let's change some content and let's play with application so i will just say dot net school i will save this and reload our application and you say this that content is rendered by this heading okay now i will just change this content here too and i will say this is mvc tutorial for beginners or so this is a mvc tutorial for beginners right so i will save this and i will reload this now you see this is mvc tutorial for beginners right now there's a button in here right and the class of that button is uh, btn primary btn lg so this is a basically a bootstrap class okay so you don't understand uh, you don't need to understand that what is bootstrap right now so uh, bootstrap is basically a way of styling your application and when we created a predefined um, uh, when we created a mvc application we had some predefined classes in it that i will explain you later but that class is responsible for coloring and styling all 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 the elements okay so let me play with the application more and say it says getting started get more libraries and web hosting now how this thing is these things are stacked here so they have divided uh, divided the whole uh, page into a row so there is a row there and they have uh, divided that row into three columns okay so this is column one this is column two and this is column three and they have uh, put those uh, three uh, three column uh, three columns and they have put some content on those three columns okay so this is my first column inside one div and this is the second column and this is the third column okay so let's try to copy this button class here and you see this this is the default button uh, class which is present there right so this button will look like this this is the default button and this is the style button okay these are two separate classes from bootstrap which are responsible for the coloring of this button so let's try to paste the above one the colored one here and let's try to save it and reload the application you see this the button is changed so similarly we can give different classes to these buttons and change it accordingly so now let's see this now you might be wondering that from where this part is coming from the black part so this thing in the application is called navigation bar or in short we call it as nav bar okay now this is a shared view means uh, a view which is which will be common uh, across the application it just it's just like the master page of uh, asp.net web form right so what uh, what was the functionality of master page is basically once we define a master page that look and feel of that website will be uniform across all the pages right so in the similar uh, concept we have shared views in mvc so we will be going into depth uh, into these things uh, more in our future lectures so just try, uh, uh, let's try to customize this nav bar right so let me go to the code let me go to the solution explorer and inside the views folders there's a there was a home where we had this index view right and let's go to the shared uh, shared folder and we have a layout page right now here it is uh, there is an action link which is uh, of class navbar brand okay so this part is responsible for the content onto the navbar right and this whole class here it is it is the whole black colored nav bar right so we'll be uh, when we proceed with these lectures we will be uh, trying to change uh, we will be try to we will be trying to change a lot of things in the nav bar right for now let's just try to change the content so i will say dot net school there is an index there is a home so uh, let's uh, not understand what is index what is home right now means so why why we are defining an index and home because i have not explained you anything about the controllers and actions okay now this is uh, this thing represents the the first uh, uh, first uh, link uh, represents that link test okay so whatever is written here that will be displayed on through there right and this part you need to understand it later okay so let's try to say come home okay about me 
and let me change this to ring me okay let's try to save this and let's try to reload this you see this application name has changed to .NET school come home about me and ring me all these uh, texts are being changed now what uh, how do we navigate and everything uh, uh, different actions different controllers that we will uh, see later but i just wanted to make you feel comfortable that how do we get this content onto the screen via view right we will understand uh, the more uh, deep of navbar and more of the bootstrap things later but for now that will be uh, making more com uh, that will be more comforting for you to understand how these things are being rendered onto the screen also there is a uh, there's a uh, footer type of thing here which says 2020 and my asp.net application let's try to change that also right so you can see this it says there is a footer and there is a paragraph tag of html and it says date time dot now dot year let's try to display the current time and date right so i will just say date time dot now and i will just say again dot net school right I will save it. I will reload it. And see this current date, current time is being displayed. And instead of my MVC application, I have .NET School in here, right? So, guys, I hope you understand that how we render something onto the view. We will be deep diving onto the concepts a little more uh, in our uh, coming lectures. Until then, goodbye and stay safe, stay home. Thank you so very much.